हेलो व्यूअर्स दिस इज योर होस्ट इंजीनियर सदाकत अली एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल रियल टाइम सिमुलेशन वर्ल्ड सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड आवर नेक्स्ट कोर्स ऑफ लैब व्यू व्हिच इज लैब व्यू फोर टू सो इन दिस कोर्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी शेयर्ड द कोर्स आउटलाइन ऑफ दिस कोर्स दैट uh which content we are going to learn in lab you code to so the first topic is local variables what are local variables local variables are nothing but the instance of any control or indicator right so you can create local variables in order to send data uh, within a vi wirelessly from one process to another process so local variables are very helpful when your code is very complex and you do not want to uh, perform a wire or you do not want to bring a particular uh, wire from word one point to another point so you can create local variable in that cases local variables are also helpful when you need to communicate between two parallel process like this one so in this particular code of section i am going to explain how you can use local variables in order to communicate between parallel loops so we have two loops here loop 1 and loop 2 these loops are uh, these these loops will be running parallel now what we want we want to control these loops with a single stop button what should happen i push this button i and i want these two loops to get stopped at the same moment when i press this button these two loops should stop right so let me tell you how i uh, how i created uh, these two loops first of all what i did i went into i right click on the block diagram i went to this structure and i take this while loop and i created two while loops back to back and then what i did i take this division function i right click on block diagram go into the numeric and select this add division function and then what i did i i created this sine wave how i created what you need to do is to simply press control and space when you press control and space so this quick drop will appear and what you need to do is to write sine here so as you write sign uh, the first function is the required function you just click on it double click on it and you can press place it over here so this one is this one both are same right and next this 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 is a constant numeric constant you can either create by right clicking on the input go into this create and create constant or the other way is to right click on the block diagram go into the numeric and select from here numeric constant right both ways are good but the first one is more preferable okay then i select this wait function wait millisecond function uh, you can right click on the block diagram and go into this timing section and wait millisecond function you can take this this will control uh, the execution of each iteration so uh, once the ex first execution of this loop complete it will wait 50 millisecond and then the next cycle will start so in this way you can create basically uh, you can control the execution of your loops or the timings of your loops and the last but not the least are the waveform charts so you can create your waveform chart on the front panel you just right click on the front panel and go into this graph section and select here waveform chart so this is your waveform chart 
uh, okay and you can resize it according to uh, your requirement right and I have connected this with the output of this sine wave right now I have connected stop button with this loop one but I haven't connected any stop button with this loop two so this is why my run button is broken now what I'm going to do is to create a local variable create a local variable of the stop button in order to control these two loops simultaneously with the help of this single stop button so how I'm going to do it is to uh, right click on the stop button and go into this create and press on this local variable place it here right so currently it is set as write now I don't want to write into this but I want to read from it so I will right click on this you just go here and right click on this and click change to read right click change to read and connect this stop button with this right so all good now one thing I want to show is to when you when you create a local variable of any control what happened is your is that control uh, every control has a, a by default function as a latch latch means uh, when you press that button after the execution of the code that button or that control came into its previous position right by default it is set as this press or switch well latch right so when you create a local variable of any control or indicator uh, the this run button uh, will be broken now uh, your code looks very fine but it is showing that there is some error so you see it is showing that uh, the boolean action latch is incompatible with the local variable so what you need to do is to right click on this and you will go into this mechanical section mechanical action and you have you you are not supposed to use latch when you have created a local variable of that control you will use switch right you will use switch so let me select this switch when pressed now we we, will, we do not see any error now let me run this so this particular code is running and you are seeing sine wave right the sine wave is appearing on both the waveform charts now as I press this as I press this you see both the loops are stop now both the loops are stop now right now let me run it again but you see my my VI is not running as I press run button it is getting stopped automatically why because because the mechanical action is now set to is set to switch when pressed it means when I press one time when I press this stop button one time it will remain in its uh, that condition right you need to press it again in order to run your code right so you see your code is running and I went when I press this again so it, it is getting stopped but when I run it again it is it is not letting my VI run because the stop button is pressed continuously now uh, to remove this problem what you need to do is to reset your local variable wherever your code starts so you, you do not need to press it again how you can do this you can simply do this uh, by creating you just right click on the block diagram go into the structures and select flat sequence 
put this flat sequence before your two loops okay now right click on this top button and go into the create section and create local variable now place this local variable here okay now what i want i want before these two loops starts this stop button should be written to false right and i should wire up to here and to here so that i am i am what i am doing i am forcing this code to start my flat sequence structure first and to write false value in the stop button so in this way uh, uh, when your code starts your uh, stop button uh, will have a false value so i don't do not need to click on it again right so and as i run this code you see my stop button is clicked when i run this so it will automatically be false right my code is running perfectly as i press this my code stopped and when i run it again you see it is not stopping because i have what i have done i have written false in the start of this code right so this technique you should you should follow this technique to avoid any any runtime error right so in this way you can use local variables within your vi and uh, you can uh, do parallel or you can share uh, data between parallel loops and within a single loop right so this is all about uh, local variables so in the next video i'll be talking about uh, the global variables uh, how we can create global variable and how we can use global variable to control not single but multiple vi's within a project so keep watching my youtube channel and keep subscribing it and keep commenting if you like my videos and keep sharing thank you see you in the next video